Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Today what I got in store is going to be opening up and checking out this Magic the Gathering 5th edition trading card game for 2 players. So this is like a 2 player starter for Magic's 5th edition. It says advanced on it, it's got the cellophane wrap still on it. This thing is pretty old. So let's just go ahead and open it up and see what it's all about. Okay, let's just pull off the cellophane tab. Very excited about opening this up, a lot of fun getting this. Uh, I opened up some older uh, two-player pa uh, packs, I believe the seventh edition as well. Check that one out too if, you, if you're interested. This is Magic the Gathering. Got the blue text right there. This set is designed for experienced Magic the Gathering Portal TM players looking to add new strategies and play opin options uh, to their game. You can play these decks out of the box or combine them with the Magic the Gathering cards. Object of the game, Magic the Gathering is a card game in which two or more players duel for control of a magical plane. Reduce your opponent's score from 20 to 0 uh, before he or she does the same to you. So they say score instead of life points. I think they added life points. I'm not sure what edition, but they, they say score for a while. Remember the 7th edition uh, two-player starter set also said score. This uh, set contains two 30-card ready-to-play decks of 5th edition cards, an oversized rulebook for easy reference, one uh, a play guide uh, to walk you through the first game and one 15 card fifth edition booster pack pretty sweet so there's a fifth edition pack in here a richard garfield game with the mana symbols blue black red green and white and uh, on the side just a mana symbols again magic the gathering wizard of the coast emblem right there she got the five symbols here very simplistic design on here red background just the five mana colors advanced level and what's it say here magic the gathering fifth edition is produced by wizard of the coast and when did this come out? This came out in 1998, so before the 2000. Awesome. So let's just open this up and see what it contains. Cool. So 5th edition booster pack and it's super cellophane wrapped in here. Let's see how easy it will be to open this up. I should have brought in scissors, possibly. Interesting, they have a pull tab on this and then even the inside is wrapped again. Let's see if I can get it here. Ah, not too bad. Awesome. The 5th edition pack there. It looks like the cellophane is actually stuck to the pack. Whoa. Sweet 5th edition. You got this kind of elf creature guy pulled up a tree from the ground. It looks like looks like he's got a root roots for pants. Very interesting. Magic the Gathering 5th edition. 15 tradable cards. Got the two decks right here. Ooh, counter spell right on top. How sweet is that? I don't know if these are randomized in any sort. They probably are all the same. I only have one of these, so there's not really sure how to find out. Got the rule book. Read this booklet <clears throat> when you're ready to learn how to play. Play Guide Magic the Gathering 5th Edition. Welcome to Magic the Gathering 5th Edition trading card game for two players. You got the two players. And then uh, it says Booster Pack, Play Guide, Rule Book. Pick and choose. Pick your deck and choose. The Portal. The Portal Starter Set is also a pretty sweet one. Want to check that one out as well. New rules for Standard Magic. Got the Play Draw Rule, up cap, uh, Upkeep Phase, Main Phase. Combat phase, discard phase, f fast effects. Just kind of skim through this to see what it's about. New terms for standard magic. So new terms. You got casting costs, same as cost in portal magic. There are different kinds of cost, and the cost. Uh, so the cost you pay for casting a spell is called casting cost. Graveyard, the same as discard pile. Library is the same as deck. Your draw pile. Power, uh, same as offense. Standard magic creatures. Don't have the sword symbol next to their power. Target uh, target is a special term for generally uh, generally takes place of any one of the similar phrases on portal cards. For instance, fifth edition Stone Rain says destroy target land instead of destroy any one land. And toughness is same as defense. Standard magic creatures don't have this uh, shield symbol next to toughness. I do wish that they brought back the sword and uh, shield for their attack and toughness. And it just kind of shows you the word changes that they went through. So it looks like they got rid of discard pile. They changed library to deck. And, uh, oh no, they changed deck to library. And so on and so forth. And, uh, instance and interrupts. They still have interrupts going on here. What does target mean? Mini deck. Looks like a counter spell. It tells you what instance and interrupts there are. So in deck B, I believe it's this one, you got Counter Spell and Terror, so this might be a blue-black deck. And then uh, this one, the instants are Righteousness, yep, Righteousness, Incinerate, Giant, Growth. And it says the creatures, uh, Mons, Goblin Raiders, Ironclaw, Orcs, Bird, Maiden, Hill Giant, Tarpan, Grizzly Bears, Pearl Unicorn, Lands, Three Mountains, uh, Two Forests, Two Plains. Okay. <clears throat> 
And then uh, you got Mirfolk, the Protron, and Voldaren Soldier, uh, Falcon, Phantom Monster, Bograts, Erg Raiders, Bog and Bograth. 17 cards. Cool. So it kind of tells you what's already inside of these decks already, so they are not randomized. Lenoir Elf's down there. Got City of Brass. Oh, I forgot that card is in this set. Be cool if we got a City of Brass in uh, the pack. What is this? Uh, fill out this uh, this little survey and return it to them. I'm not sure. It's for a contest. Cool. Just a bunch of information here. Kind of tells you this one is definitely thicker. You pull it out and mail it to them. It's one of those interesting things. Uh, you fill this all out, this information. How many hours per week do you spend playing games? <laughs> interesting. They want to know a lot about you. Mana activated abilities. Playing with mana activated abilities and enchantments. Cool. Bird Maiden. Fire Breathing. Artifacts. Great little book here. Got Bog Racks, Bog Wraith. Walls are special types of creatures. Each say summon wall in the summon line. Cool. Just kind of goes over all the cards, I believe, in, in these uh, in these packs right here. In these two packs right here. Got Fire Breathing, Frozen Shade, Iron Claw Orcs, Lanoir Elves. How cool is that? Regeneration, Righteousness, Rod of Ruin. Got Bird Maiden picture right here. Beautiful art, by the way. Just the biggest smile in the world. Perfect. And then uh, kind of shows you <clears throat> how to set up the arena. Graveyard, library. I usually have my graveyard and library on my right side. <clears throat> but that's just kind of personal preference. Creatures, lands, artifacts hanging out there. Where's this popper? Planeswalker. This is way before Planeswalkers. And then, uh, cool, Magic the Gathering. This is the little play guide. Let's check out the rule book. I'm pretty sure it's just a little comprehensive thing that says all of, uh, look, some sort of dinge, all of the rules. Welcome to Magic the Gathering. Objects of the game. First rules of magic. Uh, ownership tokens counters just like a great little pamphlet if you have any questions you go uh, like uh, it tells you about mana five colors tells you about the card uh, card background a card type text box power and toughness kind of shows you casting costs art card name what else we got uh, basic creature abilities flying land walk land home uh, you don't see hear that one too much anymore uh, first strike trample and uh, advanced creature abilities, banding. This is back when banding is still a thing. I'm not sure banding's uh, still a thing anymore. Got protection, ownership tokens. Great little pamphlet right here. Kind of tells you a lot of information. Triggered abilities, specialized abilities, damage prevention. Just kind of thumbing through this. This is your life. You begin the game with 20 life. If you drop to zero or less life for any reason, you're treated as uh, as being at zero life for all purposes except adjusting your life total. If your life total is zero or less at the end of any phase or the start of any end or of an attack, you lose the game. Boom. So don't get less than 20. Uh, don't get down to zero. Uh, getting help. Rulings. Assigned to block attack. Creatures banding. Basic land. Batch block. Just keywords if you want to check out something. Color. Cleanup. The last phase of the turn is called the cleanup phase. Damage. Uh, lethal damage. Library. Main phase. Just a great little information pamphlet if you need it sweet and a little glossary in the back explore the world of magic in comics sweet so great little pamphlets right there so let's just go ahead and open these up and see what cards are in them let's start with this little white deck I forgot what cards are in here already i'll just take off the packaging for both of them so we'll got a counter spell right here fifth edition counter spell how awesome is that wow okay Got a Righteousness right here. One white target blocking creature gets plus seven, plus seven till end of turn for one uh, white. That's awesome. I too shall be brought uh, low by death, but until then, let me win glory. This is drawn by Mike Dringleberg. And you got this woman holding her sword, not in a, an offensive manner, kind of holding it, imbuing with power, something like that. One white, give it plus seven, plus seven till end of turn. Pretty sweet. Great cards, very clean. Got Incinerate, one in a red instant. Incinerate deals three damage to target creature or player. Creatures damaged by Incinerate cannot regenerate this turn. Awesome. So three damage to target creature or player and they can't regenerate. It's like a lightning bolt, instant. So perfect. Or lightning strike and you got this guy, looks like he got hit by something. He's falling to a pile of fire. He's putting out his hand, trying to brace himself, but doesn't look like it. Scott M. Fisher. Got giant growth. Looks like this dragon was about to eat this mouse. But now the mouse is bigger than it in the forest. Beautiful kind of yellow sunlight in the background. One green instant target creature gets plus three, plus three until end turn by D. Tridlizzy. 
got Mons Goblin Raiders, beautiful art, look at this, hanging out in the mountain, looks like on a volcano, got the smokestack behind them, got the two moons, or maybe a reflection, looks like two moons, holding up his sword, and he's got his little posse there, all their heads popping out, beautiful art, one red for a 1-1 one -one creature, by Pete Ventures, beautiful, got Iron Claw Orcs, look at this guy, his nose got shaved off it looks like, got his armor on his head, and a very green looking face, kind of like the Hulk, one in a red, summon Orcs, 2-2 two -two creature, Ironclaw Orcs cannot be assigned to block any creature with power 2 or greater. So if it's got power 2 or greater, can't block it. It's scared by Anson Maddox. Bird Maiden. Beautiful art. This is so sweet. Look at the like the orange wings. She's got her like pants on. She's just flying in the sky. Got the... Looks like the desert in the background. Love the orientation of it. She's just flying around. Uh, lovely long hair. Lovely clouds. 2 and a red. Summon Bird Maiden with flying. It's a 1-2 creature with flying for 2 and a red. Kind of expensive, but beautiful art by Kaha. Foglio. Beautiful art. Just the colors on there pop really well. Got a hill giant. Got this giant on the hill. Got some sort of ox or ox deer creature right there. And she's hanging out with her huge axe. Looks like she's got a skull on her belt. Red pelt on as well. Red sky and a kind of old withered tree. Three in a red. Summon giants at 3 3. This is drawn by Charles Gillspy. Got a tar pan. Just one green. The tarpan, these horse guys running around like the tiling work at the bottom, just running real quick. Tarpan, tarpan is put into a graveyard from play, gain a life. It's a 1 1 creature, and when it dies, gain a life. Got classic grizzly bears, you got two of them hanging out in the forest. Beautiful art, love the shedding on their fur, love the depth between them and the trees in the background. Lovely, don't put out any honey. It's one in a green for a 2 2 creature by Una Fricker. Great, got a pearled unicorn, beautiful card. Look at the kind of uh iridescent colors on the unicorn got the rainbow in the background two and a white really long horn almost looks golden got a little glint going off of it beautiful green grass by david a cherry it's a tutu creature boom summon unicorn looks like i got myself a mountain just a classic um, red mountain looks like a snow covered mountain or something like that very snowy by john avon beautiful art Ooh. got a snow mountain now i got one that has uh, more of the green in it beautiful lovely greens look at the pop Nice depth between the trees and the mountain in the background. Again by John Avon. Another one by John Avon. This one is a little bit more desert-like. No snow or not too much green. Got the pine trees and a little bit of, uh, I would say, wheat or something like that there. John Avon again. So I got a couple mountains. Got a forest. These look kind of like acorns or something like that. That's a bunch of sort of pine trees. Not sure if they have snow on them. Beautiful. Love the depth to it. Lovely color green instead. David, David O'Connor. Got another forest. The night sky is setting. You can feel the cool breeze from it. Very nice. Almost like a uh, iridescent kind of glowing blues from the trees by David O'Connor again. This is definitely like, these. some of these might have been taken from Ice Age. It's hard to tell. Very snowy looking like. This is a plains, even though it's really hard to tell. Uh, yeah, it's hard to tell this is a plains. If you just saw the picture, I'm not sure what you think that was. But by Pat Morsley. Another plains. Uh, the lone tree hanging out over there. Some couple of orange flowers, literally the mountain in the background, and the sun is setting or something like that. This is drawn by Pat Morsley. Got a semi healer. One end of white. Interesting. I thought the lands would have been last, but I guess not. Uh, tap. Prevent one damage to any creature or player. It's a 1-1 one, one creature for one end, of black, uh, one end of white. Hanging out, healing this guy, burning sage and incense there. Big pile of medicine, trying to save him. By Tom Wanderson. Got a dwarven warriors, two and a red. Summon dwarfs, tap, target a uh, creature with power 2 or less is unblockable this turn. It's a 1 1 by Douglas Schulter. Classic dwarven soldiers hanging out, dwarven warriors hanging out there. Got a couple of them in the background. This boss guy up front with interesting beard and little metal rings in his beard. Cool. Ooh, you did get a Land of War Elves. Classic card. I remember this art from when I was younger. Kind of creepy. It looks like the brain is exposed. I'm not sure what's going on. Very brutal looking. Land of War Elves doesn't look this scary anymore. One green. Tap to Ed Green to your mana pool. Play this as a mana source. It's a 1 1. Summon Elves by Ensign Maddox. Beautiful card. Well, I did get a City of Brass. That's pretty fun. I didn't know that. City of Brass. Whenever City of Brass becomes tapped, it deals one damage to you. Tap. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. This is a great card. Uh, really is. Put it out. Make any mana you want on the ter first turn. deals one damage to you, though. But that's pretty sweet. Uh, manas that can produce any color uh, can be expensive. Beautiful sun right there. Looks like some sort of prison or something like that. Looks like lava is flowing from this river from it. Like it's a foundry. Beautiful by Tom Wanderstone. I didn't know this was in here. That's awesome. Got a plains. 
beautiful lush like kind of wheat growing right there you can just feel the wind blowing through it got the sun with a little bit of pinks and purples in the sky by pat morrissey got a circle of protection black looks like some big old serpent or something like that just like eating its own tail not really it kind of looks like a donut floating from the swamp got the mangroves in the background some smoke and an energy emitting from enchantment prevent all damage to you from a black source treat further damage from the source normally by uh greg grace beautiful art looks like a swamp donut we got fire breathing one red enchant creature pay red give it plus one plus zero until end of turn by dan frazier got this dragon breathing fire lovely background by the way it looks like some sponge work on some black background and this dragon is just breathing fire right at you you can feel the heat got regeneration this guy's lost his arm but he's using his aura to attach it back it looks like a little gangrenous you can actually see some of the bones but he's using his magical wizard powers and bringing it back one green regenerating enchant creature by quentin hoover got himself another mountain this is a beautiful mountain right here just kind of like the shadowing it's not too clear but you can see the layers you got the flowers the pine trees the mountain and then the beautiful sky absolutely lovely john avon really like his lands a lot another one of these uh looks like the kind of acorns except these ones are colored more like fall the leaves are about to fall beautiful depth of these pictures you got the mountains you got three of the hills kind of intersecting by uh, dan uh, david o'connor got dancing scimitar it's just a sword that flying it's an artifact creature a four generic flying it's a one five one five flying sword so this is like a phantom sword flying through the sky fires emitting from it like a comet and the trail uh, it's leaving a trail by anson maddox cool got disenchant destroy target artifact or enchantment one in a white instant by brian snooley just a classic art. I always remember this. Reminds me of Monty Python, the Holy Grail. Just a knight losing track or losing his sword. It's just disintegrating. Boom. Goodbye. Beautiful. And then the last card I got in this first pile is a, a mountain. Boom. Just snowy mountain right there by John Avon. Awesome. Okay, let's check out the second little deck we have in there. So the first deck looked to be a red, white, and green deck. And it did have a City of Brass in there, which is pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that. It'd be cool if there's another City of Brass in here. Right off the top, we just got a classic counter spell. Two blue counter target spell. Whatever spell it is, counter it. It's an interrupt. Later, they upgraded it to an instant. Or not really. They just changed the wording to instant. Looks like he got this wizard guy. He's like green skin. I always thought he was like some sort of ghoul. Or maybe like a zombie. It looks like there's some sort of icicle that he's conjuring from nothing. And he's countering that spell by Hannibal King. Great card. Terror. Love this card as well. Ron Spencer drew this when I was a kid. This is one of my favorite arts as well. Looks like this really skinny guy is just uh, hanging out in the darkness in like terror. He's scared. Absolutely scared out of his mind. He got like his, I think that's his hair or lightning. It's hard to tell. And yeah. Bury target non-black non-artifact creature. So pretty much destroy. Destroy is the same as bury. Target non-artifact non-black creature. So one in a black instant speed by ron spencer beautiful what's that say down there ron spencer sweet got mere folk of the pearl trident oh wow i don't know if i've ever seen this art for that I wonder if this is uh, different because it's in the star set mere folk of the pearl trident one blue summon merfolk it's a john Matson art it's a one month creature he's got his pike facing downwards almost serpentine sort of tail doesn't remind me of a uh mere folk but it is webbed fingers and feet or not they don't even have feet but cool Looks like I got Voldean soldiers. One in a blue, very colorful art right here. Hanging out with daggers. He's got his like uh, jousting sword right there. Red guy and a purple guy there. Very vibrant colors. They're probably poisonous. Almost looks like a leaf on his tail. Not sure what that is. Is that some sort of brontosaurus in the background? It's hard to tell. Or maybe a shinking ship. And there's a couple more mirror folks back there as well. Some mirror folks. It's a one-two creature for one in a blue. Got a Xyphron falcon. It's just got this beautiful like bird right here flying down diving to the water gonna catch something looks like the waves are crashing against this island here one in a blue summon falcon it's a one one creature flying and it has vigilance attacking does not cost this tap this falcon to tap got a phantom monster three in a blue it's a flying summon a phantasm it's a three three creature with flying boom you can see a shadow right there got his horns on it's the boogeyman coming out of the water this is drawn by rebecca guai and uh, Heather Hudson drew this beautiful falcon right here. Really love the art on the falcon. Very lifelike. I got a bog rats. Classic bog rats. Got like kind of like the pink flesh going on. You got the baby rat down there. It looks like a naked mole rat. Their tails look like thick earthworms. Pretty gross. Pretty nasty. Hanging out in the in the swamp. By Ron Spencer. Beautiful. 1-1. One, one. Bog rats cannot be blocked by walls. So walls, they'll just barrel through them. 
one black to play it. Got a Erg Raiders hanging out on their horses. Very busy going on right here. One, two, three, four, five. You got five of them hanging out on their horses. Interesting armor on the horse's head. Hanging out, running in the desert, looking for people to rob or something. One and a black summon raiders. It's a 2-3 creature. At the end of your turn, Erg Raiders deals 2 damage to you if you did not attack this turn. Ignore this effect if Erg Raider has summoned sickness. So that means the first turn when it comes into play, it can't attack because it has summoning sickness. But uh, if you don't attack with it, they get antsy since they're raiders and they'll attack you. This is drawn by St Stuart Griffin. Got a bog imp. Look at this guy. Uh, it's pretty nasty looking. Got bloody hands and fingers. Ate this fish right there. Pretty much down to the last little bones. This guy doesn't look too picky, but I guess he doesn't like bones. He's got his kind of like dragonfly, very paper thin looking wings, very green, alien like head, crazy teeth and eyes. One in a black, flying for it's a 1 1 summon imp. Boom. Got Bog Wrath. Love the art. Love the details on this. Love the shadowing. Just kind of this cloaked figure. Don't even see their face. You just see their hand reaching towards you. You got like the door and the gate right there. Or in the little stone fence. And uh, you see this guy here. Take your exit and run that way. Got the trees in the background. Cloudy looking sky and the sun setting a little bit. Nice shadow coming through there. But this crazy hooded figure. Three in the black with Swamp Walk. It's a 3 3 summon wrath. Uh, if defending player controls any swamps, this creature is unblockable by Jeff A. Mangus. So if your opponent has a swamp on the field, they're unblockable. But you're playing against this deck right here, so pretty much uh, it's always going to be blocked. <laughs> island, just got a classic island right here. Keep these piles separate. Got the blue island by J.W. Frost. Tap to add blue to your mana pool. Beautiful. Not sure if this was an ancient civilization with like a little land bridge right there, or the ocean carved it out. Hard to tell. Got another island right here by J.W. Frost. Blue to your mana pool. You can see the sun just peeking out just a touch behind this little protruding island right there. Lovely greens on it. Another island by J.W. Frost. Add blue to your mana pool. Beautiful. He really likes to have these protruding islands. Very tall. Awesome. We've got the snowy one right here. J.W. Frost again. Frosty name. An Arctic island. Got a swamp. Love this swamp. Kind of very nice, warm. It's like a warm feeling picture. Got the like the sun poking through it. You can feel just the temperature of it. You got the mangroves. Kind of foggy looking. Everything's not too crisp, but I really like that feel. This is right. Andrew Robinson. Lovely. Keep these piles. Uh, how do I do this? I got another swamp by Andrew Robinson. I like how they have a bunch of different artists in this set as well for the lands. Love this like kind of feel. Everything is so warm. The glow of the greens and the reflection in the water right there. Even though it's not so crisp, it has a warm feel to it. Add just add black to mana pool. Lovely card. Another one, same same artist right here, Andrew Robson. You really you can really feel uh, their I guess their style. Love it. Just like the warm feel to it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The reflection in the water right there. The sun peeking through. Very nice yellows. Got a prodigal sorcerer. This guy. He does tap, deal one damage to target creature player. I remember this guy being a pain when I was younger. My brother always used him, and he always pinged my zombies and stuff. And uh, he's got his purple hat on, his interesting beard that's parted, his little wart going on, huge nose. By Douglas Shoulder, it's a 1 1 creature or 2 in a blue. Look at this guy, got mole worms. These are naked mole rats. Almost looks like a lamprey, lamprey sea lamprey of some kind. Pretty nasty looking grubs. Uh, look, look, for, look up a bobbit worm. That's pretty nasty. Two and a black summon worms. You may choose not to untap mole worms during your untap phase. Tap. Tap target land. As long as mole worms remains tapped, that land does not untap during its controls untap phase. It's a 1-1. One, one, and you can tap someone's land. And as long as this guy remains tapped, it has like a hold on the land. Just like it has a hole in the ground. And it holds onto the land. And it can't be used for mana. How cool is that? By Adrian Smith. Skate zombies. Classic skate zombies. Looks like they're ripping apart this other zombie, or maybe they're pulling him out from the ground. They're like, come on, Grandpa, we're going out to play. Lovely art. This is drawn by Tom Kiffin. It's a 2-2 creature for 2 and a black. Lovely. This card, one of the skate zombies, the original art is what really got me into this game. Not this art, but like the original art. Love that card. Swamp, another one by Andrew Robinson. Uh, Robinson, just beautiful, warm sun reflecting to the trees. Another island going on. I think we had this one already. Yep. Got a repeat. Oh, got a repeat. Got a soul barrier. Two and a blue. Enchantment. Whenever target opponent sexually casts a summon spell, soul barrier does two damage to him or her. That player may pay two to prevent this damage. Two and a blue. Soul barrier. It looks like they're stuck in some sort of glass. A bunch of skulls. Face tracker is actually picking up on that one. Beautiful art by Harold McNeil. So whenever an opponent, not you, casts a summon spell, a creature spell, uh, 
it deals two damage to them, and if if they if they don't pay two, so that's pretty cool. Makes them not want to play spells. I got an unholy strength, classic uh, plus two plus one. One black enchant creature. It's not an instant. You enchant the creature with it. Look at this guy. He's losing some teeth. His eyes are bulging out of his head. Looks like some of the flesh from his chest has been ripped off. Pretty unholy looking. He's breaking bones. Dang. Imagine walking up to a cave mouth seeing this crazy guy. Tom Kiffin. Got a frozen shade. Beautiful art right here. This woman's very long fingernails. Got some rings on. Hanging out in the swamp or like the frozen swamp forest. Got a kind of a, a white emitting aura around her head. Uh, her nose looks very pointy. Two and a black. Uh, play black. Plus one, plus one to line of turns. Zero one creature, and you can pump it up. I wish it had flying, though. Got another swamp. Classic swamp looking great. Another swamp. I got a Rod of Ruin. Remember this card. Four generic artifact. Three and tap. Rod of Ruin deals one damage to target creature or player. So I'll just keep pinging. And uh, lovely background, by the way. I love the yellows. A little bit of sponging, like green and black, and a little bit of oranges in there. You got this crazy staff, with, like some sort of emerald in it, and some energy emitting from its mouth and eyes. This is drawn by Christopher Rush. And I got a soul net. Is this the last one? Nope. Soul net. One generic. Uh, uh, pay one. Gain one life. Use the ability only when a creature is put into a graveyard from play, and only once for each creature. Each such creature. So you can only play this when a creature dies. Either your creature or your opponent's creature and you can only pay one for each creature so this poor dragon died and you can see this wizard literally has a net that's catching the soul as it emits from his head that's pretty creepy very creepy beautiful art though by andrew robinson that's creepy and then the last card he got is an island so the second deck was a black and blue deck so now the last thing i'm going to be checking out is the magic the gathering fifth edition booster pack this is pretty cool. There was a City of Brass. I wish there was another City of Brass in uh, the other deck. But, beggars can't be choosers. Very awesome opening this up. And now, on to the booster pack. 5th edition, 15 tradable card game. Love the gold border on it. Ooh, I don't even know if I've opened up a 5th edition pack. Maybe when I was younger. I'm not sure. Booster pack contains 15 tradable card games. Tradable game cards. Randomly assorted for play with your other Magic Gathering cards. To begin playing, you must purchase a 60 card deck. $2.95. Let's just see. What year did this come out from? 1998, is that what they said? 1997. But this box, I believe, said 1998. 1998. And then this one says 1997. Anyways, let's just open this up and see what it's about. I don't think foils existed in this set, but we'll see. Looks like I have a card with banding. Got an Ikaton uh, Phalanx. Not sure to pronounce that. Four and a white. Got these soldiers. Looks like some soldiers hanging out with their big red shields. A lot of pikes in the background. You can just see there's hundreds and hundreds of them. Banding. It's a 2 4 creature by Kaja Fogolo. Cool. Just a creature with banding. Got a Desert Twister, 4 and 2 green. Destroy target permanent. A green card, destroy whatever permanent you want. You want to destroy a land, a planeswalker, an enchantment, an artifact, a creature, whatever you desire, destroy it. Sorcery Speed by Susan Van Camp. Got this Desert Twister, got the orange and red sky kind of going on. And you can see this guy's grabbing his kid in the running, running for shelter. Boom. Got a Library of Lang. Uh, one, one generic. Uh, skip your discard phase. Whenever a spell or effect forces you to discard a card, you may instead discard that card. Uh, uh, you may discard that card to the top of your library. So if you're going against a discard deck and they make you discard a card, you can put that card on top of your library and you skip your discard phase, which means you have no maximum hand size. That's pretty much what it means. Artifact Library of Lang by Daniel Gleon. This could be the rare. I'm not really sure. I got an Aspect of the Wolf. This actually might be the rare. One in a green enchant creature. Enchant creature gets plus X plus X, where X is equal to the half the number of force you control round and down uh, for power and up for toughness. It's weird. Um, I'd like Blanchwood Armor better. That just gives you however many force you have. That's how strong its power and toughness are. This is drawn by Janie Johnson. I got a Alabastar Poston, X and two white target player gains X life or prevent X damage to any creature or player. Healing is a matter of time, but it is sometimes also a matter of opportunity. This is drawn by Harold McNeil, instant speed, gain some life, or prevent some damage. 
Got a Marsh Viper, Viper, beautiful Ron Spencer art. Yep, that's a 1-2 creature for 3 and a green. It's Marsh Viper's dealt. Uh, damages any player, he or she gets two poison counters. If that player has ten or more poison counters, he or she loses the game. Sweet, it's a poisonous marsh fire viper. It just looks like a pit. You got a bunch of different snakes down there. This isn't just one. Got the family of it. Don't go in to pet it. The fangs are pointing right towards you. Cool, poisonous card. Another Mons Goblins Raider. Uh, one red. It's a one-one creature, hanging out under the two moons. Got a Goblin Hero. Actually, this is the rare. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the rare. I don't know why this is always a rare. Uh, two and a red. It's a 2-2 two, two creature. That's it. I'm pretty sure this is a rare. This could be one of uh, the weaker rares in Magic the Gathering. It looks like he's the hero, but it looks like the hero killed these poor guys hanging up by the tree. Interesting green skin. Got a panic. One red. Instant. Play only during combat before blockers are declared. Target creature cannot be assigned to block this turn. Draw a card at the beginning of the next turn. So it's run red. Uh, play during combat. Before blockers are declared, that creature can't be blocked, and then you draw a card. Uh, beginning of the next turn by Greg Samsonite. Got a, a neck right. One and two black. He's pretty much, he cut his own tongue off. What a crazy person. By Ron Spencer to 2-2. Two, two. This art's always creepy. He's got a crazy centipede growing or hanging out on his head and shoulder. His eyes have like no life in them. The reflection of the glint on his knife and eyes. And literally he shaved off his own tongue. What a crazy person. Sacrifice this creature. Bury target creature offending player controls. Uses ability only if it is attacking and unblocked. So if it's unblockable, sacrifice it and you can make him sacrifice a creature. Crazy. Got gaseous form. Looks like this lady is trying to protect... The guy, he's hiding his head under the sheets. They woke up and there's this ghost there. And the ghost is like, whoa, I'm just, just saying hi. And she's swinging at it with like a fire stick or something like that. Two and a blue enchanted creature neither deals nor receives combat damage. So it's just there. <laughs> Douglas Keith enchant creature. <laughs> it's just there. <laughs> Got a Mesa Falcon. One and a, blue, one and a white flying. And you can pump up st its uh, toughness if you pay one and a white. It's a 1-1 one -one creature. The faith of Sarah is born on the wings of hope. Beautiful art. Lovely fades from like blue to green, a little bit of orange down there. Got this falcon flying out there. Got a Lee Druid, two and a green. Tap, untap target lands. A one-one creature, summon clerk. If only it was an elf, that'd be awesome for tribal. Hanging out, looking at the leaves, his uh, kind of long beard and yellow robe. And I got Disintegrate. Oh, that's not the last one. X and a red sorcery. Disintegrate deals X damage to target creature or player. That creature cannot regenerate this turn. If that creature is dealt lethal damage, this turn will remove it from the game. So X out by Anson Maddox is sorcery. Poor guy. Literally turning to ash, disintegrating. You can see it's a little bit of his rib bones, his sword and his shield, everything poofing. Gone. And then the, the last card I got is Initiates of the Ebone Hand. One black. You got his eyeball. Peering out through his chest, what a crazy looking chest, his bluish skin. Uh, one, add black to your mana pool. If four or more are spent this way during one turn, bury initiative to the bone hand at the uh, end of the turn, place ability as a mana source of 1 1. So you can feed in whatever mana you want to make black mana, but if you pay more than four, you gotta bury it at the end of the turn. So you can do more than four, you just gotta bury it. Initiate of the bone hand, and this is drawn by Heather Hudson. Awesome. Not sure what the rare was. Honestly, at one point, I think uh, this was a rare card. I don't know if they downgraded it for this set. This could be the rare. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah. Anyways, awesome checking out this like older 5th edition 2 player starter set. Uh, a lot of fun opening it up. A lot of fun checking out. Checking out the old art. A lot of Ron Spencer in there. I did get a City of Brass in one of the decks. So probably all the decks have it. Pretty fun. Actually came with a 5th edition pack. Sweet opening it up. I think... The Goblin Hero could possibly be the rare. Anyways, awesome cards in here like this one. Untap a target land. Uh, Gaseous Form, pretty fun. This guy's pretty creepy. This art always scared me. Got a Mon Goblins Raiders. I wonder what the first card was Poison Counters was. I don't know if it was Marsh Vipers. It could be, but I think I'm wrong. Got Library of Lang, great card as well. And then Desert Twister, classic, just destroy. Anyways, a lot of fun opening up this 5th edition 2-player like starter set. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you're all having a wonderful, beautiful day. Check out my other videos on stuff like this. And yeah, more, more to come in the future. Anyways, have a wonderful, beautiful day.